Earlier today, I sat down with Dr. Kristin Loftotir and asked her about the effects of the Icelandic financial crisis on their identity. Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Now, the economic crisis 2008 hit uh, Iceland uh, extremely severely, but we're all talking about a crisis of identity, aren't we? So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, in my research, I'm focusing on the effects of the economic crisis on issues of identity, because even though it was financially a huge blow uh, to, the, uh, uh, to most Icelanders, it was also a very uh, difficult experience in terms of people really re-evaluating uh, you know, what they thought Iceland stood for and the kind of future that they had envisioned for most Icelanders. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, in my research project, I'm both looking at issues of identity during the boom period and also during the economic uh, crash or after the economic crash. And in the boom period, uh, which started, uh, which is usually seen as starting in the mid 1990s with more neoliberal uh, policies, and then uh, in the 2000s, you, know, you see definitely a lot of prosperity in Iceland. And what I thought was particularly interesting is how these were in Iceland very strongly spoken about as kind of the result of intrinsic characteristics of Icelanders, you know, some kind of embodied qualities. Uh, and it was very difficult uh, criticizing these discourses in Iceland at that time. Uh, and then after the economic crash, it was almost like, you know, something just fell apart because people realized that this was all uh, not based on any kind of reality and the financial crash uh, to most people was uh, really something that almost just happened overnight. In October 2008 the Prime Minister announced the setting of emergency law and then after that three of the major banks uh, went bankrupt and even people working in the banks were quite uh, shocked and in my interviews with people many people you know speak about this as really being like a transformative event in their life seeing the prime minister uh, announcing that we had this big emergency at our hands so it's five years uh, almost exactly since mm -hmm. that uh, crash how would you how would you typify the uh, effect of the icelandic identity today I think uh, in Iceland now there's a uh, sense of kind of precariousness. People do not really know, you know, what the future will hold. And, and especially in regard to the international position of Iceland, what should Iceland uh, stand for? And we also see uh, a lot of discussion in terms of Iceland's natural resources. How should we develop those? People are afraid of economic hitmen or, or foreign investors coming in and kind of losing also uh, sovereignty over the resources and the, and the country. So, uh, so there is a lot of, it's very interesting to, to analyze the discussion now because it's also very much focusing on uh, Iceland's European identity and uh, what it means to be long, you know, in Europe. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Fascinating subject, so thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.